Hey guys, CD Stealth here, and this is a follow-up question on the last video I did with the video response. Um, he wanted to maintain the offset, and uh, to be honest, I didn't really think about that. I was just trying to uh, get it to loop. So I decided to play around a little bit, see what I would get, and uh, I think I've I think I've got it. So um, what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to quickly show it, if you need to know, like, uh, details so you can look at the other video but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the uh, cube and then the uh, actual curve and I'm going to go to the animate under the animation menu set and go to motion paths and go to attached motion path option box now I'm going to leave this open okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a typically a time frame of how long I want this to take. So um, how long do I want it to go around the circle? I was trying to figure out mm, how long roughly would it take to say a tank to roll around. So I'm probably gonna guess maybe about uh, 800 frames maybe just to, just to try it because uh, I noticed my end time was set automatically to 400 so I decided to double it and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to constantly add each one of these attributes you know, each one of these cubes to the curve just constantly and every time I'm going to increase it by a certain amount if I want the treads to be this spread apart I need to figure out the offset between the two so I'm probably just gonna I, when I first tried it I tried it as 10 and it looked really nice but I think I'm going to try 30 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the start time to uh, well, first zero. I got to attach the first one. So I'm just going to hit apply as opposed to attach. That leaves my little my option box open, and you'll notice it comes over here. So now I'm going to add it to the motion path again. So this time I'm going to add 30 to it. So 400 plus 30 is 430. So apply, and I'm just going to keep doing this over and over again until I roughly get uh, a few. Uh, of these in place just to show for demonstration I'm only going to do a certain amount so uh, I'm just going to do like three I guess this is 490 all right now it's going to be all wonky like this and it's also going to be very cluttered and that's because I haven't set the uh, the loop yet so I'm just going to go ahead and set in this loop and you should notice that it there should be a let me move that out of the way and grab these cubes here. So now you can see in my graph editor that I have straight lines, kind of like so. And uh, I'm just going to select them all and go to pre-affinity cycle, post-affinity cycle. And I'm going to increase my timeline to 800. And uh, for these, you'll notice that they've now moved. I'm going to go to the motion path and twist them. I think I want to twist them by 90. So here's 90, 90. So it looks like 30 was actually too too big of a jump. It looks like uh, they'd be a little bit closer. So you would change the increment number to be something more of your liking. But uh, I'm going to close that. And I'm just going to hit play so that you can kind of see what it's doing. Let me just uh, hide this here so that you can see it a little better. Hide those. Hide these. And you'll notice that they're constantly maintaining the offset. So I guess it was just uh, fiddling with the graph editor and uh, the motion key, which now well, that's gone. So let me grab these again. So I think it was this, the fact that they were not offsetting like that. So they're all going roughly at the same speed. So all you have to do is just adjust the offset to your liking. So uh, I hope that helped. And if you need anything else, holler.